Shooting outdoors on a overcast day is a pretty wonderful way to get an even, natural exposure on your subject. The problem is that you're not always going to get the right level of cloud, the right level of light, even the right time of day. So how do you recreate this idealized uh, sunlight when you want it? The solution is space lights. Space lights are the first type of light I think I saw at NAB one year and thought to myself, who would use that? Why? Why would you want a omnidirectional light modifier that you can't really direct, you can't really put anywhere, you can't really cut? It's just sort of a lot of light everywhere. Well, the reason is that these things work in grids, meaning you have at least four, as many as 50 of these up in the ceiling of a soundstage or a studio, and they give an even base illumination to your entire scene from above. You then take this base illumination and add your key. So the space lights serve as a pre-rigged um, top, back, or side light, basically a pre-rigged fill that looks very natural, very pleasing to the eye, and then you're able to bring in your key at whatever level and whatever direction you want. There are a couple of different types of space lights. By far the most common are the tungsten 2K space light. Most stages still use tungsten because tungsten is cheap, tungsten is powerful, and because the lights are so high from the talent, heat isn't that much of an issue. Of course, if you have 50 of these things um, all burning, 2000 watts, you're going to heat up your space pretty quickly unless you have super high ceilings or some kind of cooling involved. Newer space lights are made from LEDs and you have two groups, the specialty space light like these guys and you have the space light modifier that you can put on an existing LED Fresnel or um, Bowen's mount. Aperture 300D Mark II has one. This lets you rig an omnidirectional, very soft light um, in groups uh, up high in the ceiling and it's not hot, um, it's very bright and it's very soft which means you can get it with less space lights for the same amount of coverage. A big advantage of LED space lights is they don't generate heat and they are dimmable. They're also very versatile so you don't need specialized LED space lights, you can use existing fixtures like I said the uh, Aperture 300 D Mark II. You basically rig it up then haul it into the ceiling, mount it on the grid and you can get the same effect as space light for much less money. When I first stepped onto a space light lit um, psych soundstage, I thought, great, we'll just turn on the um, space lights, uh, get the camera to the right level, and we're good to go. Well, it's not quite that simple. As I said before, space lights don't really give you um, a one and done solution. They're more like fill and backlight, and then you need to bring your own key. This, this sort of like the rhythm section of a rock and roll track, you still need your um, lyrics and your lead guitar to kind of bring it to life. In this case, that's your key light that you can bring in as big um, or as small, as soft or as punchy as you want. Um, but it really is, you just need one more stroke to kind of bring your subject to life. Some people also choose to add a hard backlight or a rim light uh, because the space lights being so soft will give it an overall illumination. They won't really chisel the subject out from the background. Movies shot on sound stages with green screen use space lights a lot. Um, 300 famously used this uh, huge set in a Vancouver soundstage lit by dozens of space lights. When they needed extra soft, uh, they brought in um, giant diffusions like a 20 by 20 above the actors. But the space lights really just save them a lot of time and a lot of rigging by being pre-existing in the studio or pre-existing as part of the set. An important thing to remember is that space lights only work when there's multiples of them and when your subject is amongst the sort of forest of space lights. Anytime you get to the edge of your space light group, you'll start to get um, loose illumination on that side. Another advantage of space lights on a soundstage is that they give really beautiful even illumination on a blue screen or a green screen. You see them a lot on Marvel movies. In fact, some people use them exclusively for this and you see a row of space lights illuminating a green screen evenly. Then they bring in a teaser, like a big piece of black fabric to keep the space lights off the talent and then they light the talent separately. That is my look at space light modifiers and how you can use them to get the most out of your sets and a really interesting way to bring in a base level of illumination that you can then work from without having to start from scratch. 
that creates a natural looking environment on a really large space. Thanks very much for watching. I will see you next time.